Today we are discussing plant cells. The cell wall gives structure to the cells and actually to the whole plant. Plants don't have bones, so the cell walls allow plants to hold their shape. Inside the cell wall is the cell membrane. Just like in an animal cell, the cell membrane controls what enters and leaves the cell. Inside the cell membrane is the gooey cytoplasm, which holds all of the other organelles. Of course, one type of organelle is the chloroplast. This is the organelle that gives the plants their green color. It is also the part that does photosynthesis, turning sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide from the air into sugar and oxygen. Hooray for chloroplasts! Without them, we would not have any food. Another important structure is the large central vacuole. It stores water for the plant. It also works with the cell wall to give the plant its structure. Have you ever seen a wilting plant? It has used up some of the water from its vacuole. Next up is the nucleus, the command center for the cell. In here we find deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA for short. I am drawing the DNA in the form of chromatin, long strands of genetic code that give instructions for building the cell, instructions for doing everything the cell must do, and instructions for making everything the cell makes. Speaking of what the cell makes, that would be mostly lipids or fats, and protein. The place where a lot of this stuff is made is in the endoplasmic reticulum. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum, or ER for short. The smooth type does not have ribosomes, and the smooth ER makes lipids. The rough ER has ribosomes, and it makes proteins. Most of the ribosomes are located in the ER, but some are free, located in the cytoplasm. Making all of this stuff requires energy. The mitochondria turn the sugar that the chloroplasts make into energy that the cell can use. This energy is stored in the chemical bonds of adenosine triphosphate. The Golgi complex is the packaging center for the cell. It packages compounds that the cell makes inside membranes for delivery to where they are needed. It also packages waste to be pushed out of the cell. Vesicles are the packages. Here's a little analogy. We can think of the plant cell as a dance club. The cell wall is the physical building. The cell membrane is the guy at the door, the bouncer or doorman who says who can come in and who can't. The cytoplasm is the dance floor. This is where all of the action happens. Our dance club is solar powered and the chloroplasts are special solar cells which turn sunlight into sugar. Mitochondria then are the transformers that transform the sugar into electricity for use in our dance club. The nucleus is the DJ. Nobody has any fun without the DJ. The music he plays is, of course, the DNA. We can't hear the music directly from the mixer, so it needs to go through speaker wires to the speakers. The endoplasmic reticulum and the ribosomes are the speaker wire and speakers. We also have some wireless speakers, the free ribosomes, so the sound in our dance club comes from all over. People would get thirsty if it wasn't for the vacuole, a giant refrigerator that stores all of the drinks. And then we need employees. The Golgi complex includes those who serve the food and drinks and others who keep the place clean. Think about it. The dance club analogy will help you remember the organelles of the plant cell.